little bit more uh, local, but yes, SD Sandy, previously known as No Tekka, Mario main from Smash 4, changed his tag. I think it's it was a bet. I'm not sure, but whatever. SD, I, I'll I'll let you guys figure out what that stands for. <laughs> But that's neither here nor there. Taternator and Sandy on game one, PS2. Taternator, of course, our famous Bowser Jr. Ever since Smash 4, he was taking uh, names. He had PGR wins. He didn't really believe too much in the character at the beginning of the game, playing a lot more Inkling. But, you know, a couple months in, he's like, you know what? It's time for me to uh, retake my, my place on the throne of, of Bowser Jr. I mean, on paper, that's to be expected in a lot of ways because you go into a new game, the character plays differently. Yeah. So a lot of your hello. Yes, the nair into the F tilt. Right, really, really Sandy. good capitalization from Sandy right there. Calls it some other destruction. But it's like once you get past that period of like, oh, I'm used to playing this character like this, and you just start to understand how they behave in a new game. Then you do find those new variants, and you can come back. And Taternator's really been making things happen with Wendy. And uh, he's like, yeah, I don't care about you, but I'm coming through. But look at this. He lost his stock, and he's already at 88%. These are some punishing exchanges right now from Sandy. You take one hit, you're taking eight. Oh, nice. Okay, really great SDI. Managed to put the shield back up, avoiding the finishing hit of the jab. The jab is actually a kill option for Wendy in this case, the Koopalings. <laughs> Out. There's another grab. Looking for the pump. It takes some frustration. Smash A button. All right, a bit of a planking tactic coming out from Sandy. Of course, he is also being forced on the ledge. Not too much he can do there. Nice. Covering the getup with the uh, clown cart explosion. The ejecto seat does have a really, really strong exploding hitbox. That's one of those things where it's like, when you look at the matchup on paper, you know that it's going to happen, but in the immediate moment, you just don't see enough Bowser Jr. to like have that in your instinctive memory. So Sandy's just like, oh, I took the, the mech cooper just to get back on the stage. Oh, wait, that hook. Oh, that blew up my face. But we're just seeing some offense going. Tater Nader definitely bringing things back. Sandy's second stock well within oh, kill percent. I think yep. that's going to be the old gift. And he blows up anyway. Dang, dude, he didn't need to do that, but he covered. He had all options covered. He's like, I don't know whether you have your jump or not, but so I'm going to make sure you're dead. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and see you back in zero. Down air, hits through. Yoshi, your first stage, and hitbox lasts forever. Okay, I really love that. Dashes forward, Ooh. dashes back to try to bait out the uh, get up option. Fortunately, it looked like Mario moonwalked back to get that. <laughs> like, he was already turned around. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm also liking uh, Sandy's movement as well. Definitely limiting the number of neutral exchanges because if you catch it once, that's a good 30, 40% more often than not. And Koopa, you try to pick that up, you're going to catch some boost back to face. Sandy will make sure that happens. Fireball, we haven't actually seen that used too much over the course of game one. Starting to get used now. Bad combination. 92 percent. Tater Nader really battled back after losing that first shot pretty early. Now with the lead, looking for the kill. But ooh. Up oh, smash for wow. one now. Are we starting to throw out a little bit more kill options from both ends here. Of course, Mario's uh, maybe the more devastating. He has more of them. Up smash, the forward smash is gonna kill. Back air's still not gonna be enough. I'm always so impressed with Tatinator's just varying use of the Mega Koopa. You don't know if he's gonna pick it up, if he's gonna let it walk across the stage, and it just creates this weird 50 50 that it offers him a lot of options. Yeah, the Mega Koopa is definitely a very fundamental part of the Koopa Link's game plan. Landing with the grab and the back throw is not gonna be enough. Down, side B. Oh, oh, hello. All right, Taternator was not happy about that. Look at him. He, he, he seems oh, upset. That was BS. That was BS. You see that? That was BS. He seems upset. <laughs> oh, he's definitely mad. Oh, yeah. 
Like, I don't, there's like no one behind him <laughs> or to the side. Right. Of him. Like, like, I don't did know you, who did he's you, talking did you see about. That? He's like, y'all saw that? That was BS. Look, he's looking to the right of him, but there's no one there. Yeah. <laughs> Angel on the shoulder, on one yeah, shoulder. Dude, he's like, all right, calm he's down. But the devil's like, now, <laughs> get in there. He's he's uh, red with rage right yeah. now. Dude. He's uh, listening to parts <laughs> of his subconscious right now going into game two. <laughs> he's still he's still talking to him. Yeah, you gotta you gotta shake that oh, off, man. That's only game number one, and it was a very close one too. You gotta put some respect on your opponent as well. Uh, no, uh, Sandy, excuse me, was playing extremely well, and he capitalized on that first stock really quickly. Tatonator brought that back from a position where he was playing from behind to begin with. So you know, this time if he just takes that first stock, maybe a whole different story. To tell. I'm really liking Sandy's approach to playing Mario. Um, He's not the most aggressive Mario I've seen, but he's very cerebral in how he finds his opportunities. He's more of a counter puncher, maximizing the punishes, not really overstepping. It's just I take the opportunities when you get when you give me them, I have a high percentage chance of making the most out of it. I yeah. like it. His spacing is really good. It's like you said, he's not necessarily pressing forward too much, punishing the spin out right there with the up smash and Sandy already on the uh Taking the first stock and he's barely taking any damage of his own. I think that's a large part of why Tater Nate is feeling the frustration right now yeah. because he's like, this guy's standing here waiting for me to go in and then I'm eating 60% every time I go in. I don't feel like standing here all night. I want to play the game. Well, it's like, you know, what I was saying earlier, I mean, if you want to win, you got to do what you got to do. Yeah, you got to play a little bit slower. Sometimes patience is uh, strong steady. Into the race. Pixel there doesn't linger long enough. Gives him the bop across the eight. Not going to be able to take stock number one. Like he was, I mean, Tater. Yeah, he's, he's swinging. Yeah, he's going for these aggressive options. He really needs to slow things down a bit. Oh, that up air. He gets a grab. So that was brilliant because it. Sandy's not your typical Mario. Like, all, the, all these Marios, they'll hit that first up air and they'll go for another one. Sandy, in that case, went for that one up air and just reset, saw the air dodge, went for the grab. And also went for the SD. Yeah, that's, gonna, <laughs> that's gonna take a bit of wind out of the old sails for sure, but 85% on this second stock, even yeah. with the SD. Sandy not in the worst position by any stretch of the No, not at all. And you can see him actually going for these neutral airs. I mean, the neutral air is such a good uh -oh tool because it has relatively low knockback at lower percents it will set up into a check chase possibly a jab lock at a higher percent you can just set up into a ko straight up side b gets more of the fireball tries to get back on stage and says not so much spin out from that spin out off the top of the screen and tater keeps looking behind him dude he, no one's watching you just is, focus he's emotionally compromised right now <laughs> nope. not gonna lie just focus, dude. People are bumping into him on the way to the back. Oh, really? That's that's a little annoying. You hate to see that. Yeah, that's a little annoying. I'll give him that. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta give him a little bit of airspace there, for sure. Hey, there's a lot of room around him, too. People, I mean, there are a lot of people yeah. in the esports arena jumping tonight. He's popping here. Every Wednesday night. If you haven't made your way down here, you should try it. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna move the gas like a little bit forward. Good call. I think that's the play. After this setup. Oh, but Sandy right here gets that neutral air convince into several up airs. 135. All this rage. Okay, the jab should do it. Yes, it does. 153 more than enough. That jab kills. Yeah. All right, Mech Blue's been hand about to blow up. Down 66 percent. Can Tatum to shrug off the? Uh, Shoulder tackles from the audience to get the game number three. Let's find out. I believe, man. I believe. Caternator, this is in his first rodeo. He's definitely Here we go. got the chops. Here we go. Look at all that damage. Already putting him at even percent range. In a lot of ways, Bowser Jr. is Mario with a third jump. Yeah. It's just that up air chain and yeah. low percentage just continues to connect. It's only down 20% now. You can just say, like, if, if you play a Mario Brothers series, Character, then you're probably a good character. You're hitting up there for a while. If this opportunity oh. presents itself, spin out of B. Oh, so close right here. Taternator 129 trailing by a bit. That backer, he's not gonna want to eat another one of these by the ledge. A little fun, did you know? The Mecha Koopa goes through the fireball and keeps going. Damn, Mecha Koopa, good. Interesting. Yeah, yeah, they ate it. it. it just, oh, my oh. God. 
<laughs> the down smash. Great call. No panic uh -oh. option from Sandy. And he gets oh, the game. Yeah, he's incredibly hot. That I mean, a, that is a... It's understandable. Uh, it's understandable, man. You, you want to focus. You want to try to make sure you're, yeah. you're doing everything you can. Distraction.